First to 95, new charges against a man and woman accused of abducting their own child during a supervised visit. Arisha Caldwell and Frank Gannis there are now jailed on charges of kidnapping, endangering the welfare of a child, and interference with custody. The couple has quite the criminal history, and the quick capture of the non-custodial parents in Polk County is an example of the Amber Alert system at work. Joe Hickman reports on this couple's background. Myself, along with my deputies, are just relieved that this little girl's get, been found and hopefully have a happy and healthy childhood. The Polk County Sheriff's Office, along with the Highway Patrol, brought a successful end to the child abduction that started at Springfield's Wonders of Wildlife midday Wednesday when 36-year-old Frank S. Gannis and 33-year-old Arisha Caldwell, the biological parents of 2-year-old Arukia Gannis, were making a supervised visit with their daughter, who was in the care of the state. Both parents have criminal backgrounds, as Frank Gannis was charged with domestic assault, kidnapping, and weapons charges in August of 2022. And in February of 2023, both parents were charged with multiple sex crimes against a minor. And Caldwell's jury trial on those sex crime charges was supposed to start today. In the August incident of Reed Spring, Gannis is alleged to have held a woman against her will and used a baby as a shield while dealing with Stone County Sheriff's deputies. The woman said Gannis would push her down and rip her cell phone away to keep her from getting help, and that Gannis told her he wanted to shoot himself, and if law enforcement showed up, he would shoot her, the baby, and law enforcement officers. On Wednesday, the toddler was on a supervised visit with her parents at Wonders of Wildlife when police say they slipped away from their social worker. An endangered person alert was released at 2.34 in the afternoon, upgraded to an amber alert at 5.22. As the Highway Patrol's website explains there at the bottom, parental abductions don't qualify as amber alerts unless there's evidence to indicate that the child is in danger of being harmed. But within two hours of the amber alert being issued, the couple was in custody, and they're now in the Greene County Jail after a chase along rural roads ended on Highway 13. When that Amber Alert comes out, that information through our dispatch center gets relayed to us within sometimes seconds. And, and in instances like this abduction, you know, seconds count. And uh, we were glad that, that we were able to get that information as quickly as we did. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.